struggle icon Robert Sobukwe would have turned 95 this month. His Africanist ideology resulted in the formation of the Pan-Africanist Congress. Now the party was banned together with the ANC during a birth date. Sobukwe has been given a number of honors in recognition of his contribution to the liberation of the country. But what is his legacy in post-apartheid South Africa? And more importantly, who is responsible for making sure his ideology and his legacy lives on? And to discuss this now, I'm joined by the PAC Secretary General, Mr. Philip Lamini. Mr. Lamini, thank you so much for joining me today. I appreciate your time. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Lamini, rather, if I called you Mr. Philip, <laughs> could you tell us, uh, we've just alluded to the fact that in our introduction, uh, Robert Subuka would have turned 95 uh, uh, on, on the 5th of, of December, and in many ways the anniversary of his death links him uh, quite inextricably and even more with the story, of course, of the ANC, because we, we know that uh, Nelson Mandela also passed away, that ANC icon passed away on that same day, and uh, both these events are separated by 35 Five years. One name, that of Nelson Mandela, quite uh, globally renowned, ubiquitous or synonymous rather with South Africa's liberation story. Robert Mutsobukwe revered the same legacy but one that is not as widely known. As Secretary General of um, the PAC and a long-standing party member, do you feel that uh, you've acquitted yourselves well in preserving the legacy of Robert Mutsobukwe? Let me start by saying uh, <clears throat> the legacy lives on. Not only the PAC uh, keeps it on. The African people keeps that legacy on. They have uh, made sure that uh, it does not vanish. It remains there. Mm -hmm. That's why the issue, the story of Mangali Sosobukwe, uh, even if nobody reports about it, it keep on shining. It keep on coming up. Mm -hmm. uh, the voice that is not known keeps on rising. And when you say it keeps on shining, it keeps on rising, where, 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 which, which instances or places are you referring to? When one looks at the national calendar, you can spot uh, so many instances, of course, where the story of our liberation, our struggle, could, uh, could, could create or derive, rather, greater nuance, greater texture from uh, the telling of, or the further telling of um, Robert Sobuka's own, you know, pairing, uh, moving away from the uh, African National Congress, and in fact, becoming more Africanist in, the, in his approach, you know, post um, the, the, the drafting of um, the Clip Town, uh, uh, free, the Freedom Charter, and saying, you know what, actually, we no longer, we no longer um, stand ideologically, we're no longer ideologically paired with the ANC, and forming then, uh, in the late 50s, the PAC. Is there not a further opportunity, and have we missed the opportunity to uh, highlight the nuance and the, the, the textures of our liberation story? I, I will say to you, uh, it is purposefully to try and silence that voice. Let me start by saying you mentioned the calendar. Mm -hmm. The calendar of this country is full of the work of Mangali Sosobukwe. If you look at the 21st March. Absolutely. You the see of the, Massacre. the footwork of uh, uh, Sobokwe. You see June 16, you see the work of Sobokwe. That's the ideology of pan Africanism. And I can simply say to you, the only people who paid dearly for June 16, it is the pan Africanist Congress members advancing the political intent of the PAC. Mm -hmm. So it never stopped there. It continued. Uh, some of us are beneficiaries of that. Mm -hmm. um, disabled, unable to pronounce, and uh, because Sobukwe had loved his people as they are, he loved God. So he looked after them and he taught 
That's why education is the paramount issue of the PAC. So to, to revert then to my first question, yes. are you proud of how the PAC has acquitted itself in preserving the, leg the legacy of, Sub of Mr. In, Sub in these circumstances, I'm proud that the PAC has been able to face the West of the West and be able to preserve the legacy of Sobukwe. Mm. Uh, remember, you must understand that uh, the organization that needs to be wiped off from the map of this world is the PAC. Why do you say that? I'm saying that because the PAC is the one that first is the one that challenged the unchallengeable. That's why Robert Sobukwe uh, challenged that. That's, mm -hmm. that's the only leader in this country that has parliamented to pass a special clause to keep him in prison. Absolutely. And that would be the clause that allowed the apartheid government to renew his sentence yes, indefinitely year yes, after year. Yes. And, the, and, the, and that's, that's the one person you, you could not measure, you could not compare with any other person. Uh, so if you look at Sobukwe as the man, All right. Sobukwe a religious person, Sobukwe the man of the people, the man who travel on a third class train, Mm -hmm. How many of our leaders could live with our people in that fashion? He will s stand up in a train and allow older people to sit, let alone the women. We'll have to leave it right there. Thank you so much Thank for you. your time. That was Secretary General of the PAC. Joining me in studio, Mr. Philip Lamini.